Previously on beer and board games. Previously on beer and board games. Cars. I'm ready to go. I got my my dirty thing. It's not nearly dirty enough. What if I yeah. toy with these a little bit? Too. Does that make it dirty? I don't want you to toy with anything that's in this area. <laughs> Put a sign up on uh, the shop door. What? Sh what? We need we need help. Uh, help wanted. Oh. Tonight we are drinking from the Tiranita Brewing Company, Scurvy, Arr. India Pale Ale brewed with orange peel. Yeah. I can really smell yeah. the orange peel. It smells appealing. I don't they, think we've had this before. They mention the labels. It. I get the joke that you just Thank made. Thank you. More orange than I would have expected. The orange is way up front and it runs away quickly. Do it again. Alright. This is a toast from AJ Rotini, AKA Argyle, to Lonnie Johnson, AKA Scrawny. Scrawny works at a brick factory. All right, here's to oh, Scrawny. 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 You skinny bastard. You Scrawny Johnson. Um, mm. All bricks, no mortar. Doesn't fuck around. Keep on making those bricks because bricks are the backbone of America. This is the game of, ha of happy help wanted. You got your problem cards, you got your solution cards. If John Lennon was here, we'd only be playing with the solution cards. <laughs> Breakdown of a card. Breakdown, shakedown, everybody live until the broad daylight. Okay, so there's a, you get a card. You are going to start out with um, a number of these solution cards. You can use up to three to try to solve someone's problem. The best solution wins. What's your problem? I lost my car. Well, I have chains uh, and a snazzy tuxedo. I'm gonna throw that in there anyway. I'm gonna steal you a car, but if they question me, I will look well-dressed. I have a free pass on to, um, oh, who's a funny musician? Harmar Superstar. I have okay. a, does, do people know who he is? Harmar Superstar. Who is the guy from? He's a fucking funny musician. I have a free pass on to Harmar Superstar's tour bus. <laughs> You don't need your car when you have Harmar Superstar. And you get to go to his concert for free where he wears the underwear and doesn't have anything else. He looks like Ron Jeremy, he sings R&B. That's you, my offer. You don't want to play any other cards? Well, I also have a flare gun in case there's any trouble. I have a good solution for you. I have a genie with one wish left. Uh -huh. You can get your car back instantly. Oh, that's Bam. too easy. I like the chains plus James tuxedo. Yeah. What solution do you choose? I just, I just said that. I just said that you I... You picked the yeah. fucking chains and yeah. tuxedo over a genie with a wish? That was my actually first What the hell? Game. Listen, <laughs> earlier chains. tonight I used my heart for something and you said use my head and I've taken that advice. Oh, so you've used your head to make the wrong decision, so yeah. I win. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Two I'm chains. Well. I work at a muffin factory. We make, we make muffins. I don't want to work today. Shut the factory down for me. I have a four foot tall pet toad and a fog machine that spews flies. It's gonna take the toad at least a day to get all those flies. And while he's doing that, he's four feet tall. He's scaring the shit out of everyone. Also, I have an amphibious uh, solution to your problem. Poison dart frogs are not fatal. No. They will make key members of the factory ill and unable to perform, thus shutting down the muffin factory. For your day off, I have my own private vineyard. Do you? Drink all you want. On the house. A balloon full of bees. I think the bees will do it. And then, you know, you don't have to go to a vineyard. If you're bored, I get free Wi-Fi in my bathroom. If anyone in your factory is allergic to bees, they'll probably that's, die. That's bad news, yeah. Shit. No yeah. one is allergic to poison frogs. Or They're toads. poison. They're not fatal. Poison dart frogs aren't going to shut shit right, down because right. nobody's allergic to them. You want to hang on my private vineyard or not? All right. I'm going to lift four foot frogs. What? What? What's eat, wrong with you people? He's going to eat most of the flies. And on the way out the door, I'm going to lick that frog. You're full of shit. Yeah, and get high. I'm gonna A lot of bullshit decisions happening here, folks. And I don't get your know. face out of our fucking shot, you cracker. Uh, get out of there. Hey. hey. <laughs> You want to get in on some of this? Yeah, you got to lean in further than that, Missy. Get there she here. is. Get out of our shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get, get out of here. All right, shot come. invaders. My toy company yeah, is right. being destroyed by Hasbro. And my company, uh, Spazbro. Oh, well, sure. that's that's your problem right there. <laughs> I need this Christmas's hot new toy. I have a pool filled with pudding. What child would not be delighted by the toy of a pool and the snack 
of a pudding. What are we talking about per unit here? It's a fucking pool full of pudding that children can sit in. Well, pools cost about four or five thousand dollars. Trying thing? to sell a toy. No, look at this pool. Look at the pool. I'm not saying it's a bad okay, idea. Okay, you want to eat? No, you know what? You can't have the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can have a fake leg full of pickles. <laughs> Give that to the fucking kids, see how they like it. I love that, that's good. Life-sized Abraham Lincoln blow-up doll. Who's Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> is that what he I... like a, he's like a Lego Lincoln? Is, is, Lincoln? That, is that what he said? Abraham Lincoln. I have a 24 pack of outlawed energy drinks. Oh. Now they look just like normal energy drinks. Yeah. But the kids know, but the parents don't know. It actually says health water. Oh, a fake leg full of pickles or health water. Health water, which you know, though, as a kid. I would still want a fucking fake leg full of pickles because it's a fake leg full of pickles. Hey. Don't placate him. Sloney boy's happy again. I'm not trying to placate him. I want to take over the world. What are you going to do to help me? I got one thing. Uh-huh. I got one thing. What do you got? I have a friendly talking cheetah. Okay. How's that going to help me take over the world? Do I really need to explain this to you? I think you do. I have a friendly talking cheetah. Next. <laughs> I have a friendly talking cheetah. Okay, you can put all the inflection on it you want. I'm gonna Next. put so much inflection on this friendly talking Next. cheetah. Next. He's gonna sweet talk. He's he's not just a friendly talking cheetah, he's a sweet talking cheetah. Can I see this for a second? No. <laughs> do you remember Chester of Chester Cheetos? I do. He is, he is. Chester uh, Cheetos, I'm not familiar with those, but <laughs> I know Chester the cheetah. He is of this pedigree. Oh, you're talking cheetah. He's charming. Next. <laughs> I have a vial of zombie virus. Could work, could well, backfire. Jim. What do you got? I My have... only friend in the game. <laughs> I have a Ferris wheel full of explosives. Aerosmith is playing in my backyard. Dude looks like a lady's playing right now. That's not helping your case. <laughs> so... As much as he's fucked me over in the past, I'm gonna have to go with zombie. Simple, <laughs> simple, sweet. Just stay behind plywood. Ahmad Mullah wants us to insult his younger brother, Hassan Mullah. He introduced Ahmad to beer and board games, and they all miss him back home. Hassan, do you like sports? Do you? Yeah, do you? He's not going to answer. I mean... Your sports team? <laughs> yeah. It's the worst. Oh! oh! Dang! You're, You're not just... going to win that World Cup, Hassan! No! You're not going to win anything! You ain't going to win shit. I need to stay awake, but also, I need to rob a bank. <laughs> I have a sneeze gun, so you can rob the bank. Like, but then when you're getting, like, drowsy, like, a little shot up the nose, sneeze, that wakes me up every time. Sneeze. I have a giant slingshot. Fire you over to the bank, and then I have a fake-looking real gun. I have, as previously stated, a pool filled with pudding. <laughs> All that pudding, the sugar rush, that is going to keep you awake for days. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the bank, I have a pile of flaming tires in my yard. That is going to draw all of the police and the fire department to my yard, leaving the bank vulnerable for you to hit it and quit it with the cash. Bam. I just want to point out that you can use three cards if you want. I choose to use two. Okay, I feel like you're not trying. <laughs> You obviously have a vendetta against me because I threw away your cheetah. You did, and, and that's fact, fine. And that's fact, fine. I am, as we noted, uh, turned on by the notion of actually getting to kill somebody with a Nerf gun, and I get to fly through the air with the greatest of ease. So I give you both of those. Thank you. You are welcome. All right, let's keep going. I really want to binge eat. I have a stockpile of food. I have a wow. rim job machine. I come strawberry jam. These are all very simple solutions. <laughs> and only one is really the solution to your problem. <laughs> I come strawberry does. jam suggests that your dick would be involved with the situation. As much as you want. And I don't want it at I all. Will, from across the room. <laughs> I have a stockpile of food is the good solution. That is, yeah, that's right. Thank you. you. He's afraid can of you. Friends what's again? Happening? Of course. All right. You don't have you a problem. Lie to me. I'm not. Matt Sloan, quit playing games with my heart. I would not do that. I would only play games with a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> this is accurate. This is me right. for real, so I'm gonna violate... Why? <laughs> I need to get kicked off a flight before takeoff. I can control the weather. Nobody points a finger at you. That's and pretty good. can't fault you for anything. I, I got it, I got it. Don't oversell it. I have a 20-foot uh, tall toddler. You may borrow this child. 
That flight's not taking off. Nope. Yeah. I really can't beat that, but I do have a freeze ray. It's Control freezing. the weather. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. We're friends again. This oh, is, stop this is not... I need five gallons of fresh blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a fishing pole made out of a samurai sword. I am a magician. <laughs> I can pour five gallons of blood out of this hat, and you won't know how I did it. Yeah. I'm at a biker barbecue. Oh. You're at a barbecue. There's, there's blood flowing. There's, it's happening. It's... There are open wounds. What? Open yeah, yeah. What kind of barbecues have you gone to? You're in a biker of uh, the biker kind. These two seem like a lot of extra work for me. This is like here. Here's your blood. Yeah, okay, you're, I'm, I'm a magician. Do. Okay. Boom. You have been making artisan super dudes for a while now, and last time we met, I commissioned a specific super dude from you. You did? His name is Gadget Dude. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to have accessories, possibly a utility belt. I don't know what this looks like. I'm seeing it the very first time right now. Holy shit! That is Gadget Dude. Gadget Dude's parents tragically killed themselves outside the theater after viewing the 1999 Inspector Gadget movie. Gadget Dude vowed to avenge his parents' death and has been tracking down and systematically murdering people involved with the movie with an array of super gadgets. I have a shelf at my house where I keep all my precious things and Super Dude is going to have a place among them. Let's... Among all the other garbage of my life. Oh, wow, garbage. <laughs> Sam Larson's girlfriend, Maddie, wants a toast for Sam's 17th birth... 17th... 17 oh. birth... <laughs> His 17 birthdays that he's had on May 9th. Sam is the sweetest guy that Maddie has ever met. She loves him very much. To Sam, the dingus, happy birthday, you cockwaffle. Okay, well here's to Sam from Maddie. God, yeah. let's hear it. Cockwaffler. Cockwaffler. Insult? We're supposed to insult him? Yeah. She, she said so many nice things about she him. She loves him very much and wants him to pay for that. He's a total music and gaming geek, in case you need any help. <laughs> Stop playing Mario Kart while listening to the acapella version of Rainbow Road, you jerk. <laughs> so let's do a final score here. Four. Eight. Six. Five. Oh, Mike wins! <laughs> You got a problem? Don't call the A team. Call the M team. Folks, we had a good time tonight. We learned what it's like to drive a car very fast around your opponents and to be white. White. Today we learned about problems and their solutions and who our real friends are. <laughs> we hope you join us next time, because we'll be here, and you should be here. Good night. A ding, ding, ding. This is me right. for real, so I'm going to violate... Why?